just wanted to go over some holster options. Uh, I got some requests in the prior video comments of some of the holsters that I'm running. Uh, I've got quite a bit uh, that I run for different things. So I figured I'd go through them and show you guys kind of what I have and you know what they're good for. So I uh, figured I'd start out with some holsters from Hammer Armament. Uh, these I run mainly on my gun belt, like when I'm training and stuff. Uh, so this one obviously doesn't have the retention hood. Uh, so he made this one for me. It's a great holster. Um, he does a really good job fitting everything. Um, I can't, I have nothing to complain about. They've held up really well. I've had this one for a couple years now. Uh, it's done really well. Uh, also had him do one in black carbon. This one gets the most use right now, um, just because I like to train with the hood. I like to have that retention hood there. So it, uh, it works good. Uh, this one was originally just like this one, but he um, did, did start selling the, uh, the hood, I guess, adapters. So I did go ahead and get one of those and added that onto it. The mag pouches that I run with these were made by a different company. And he goes by Sierra Provisions on Instagram. So he did make these to match that holster. And these are great uh, AR and 2011 mag holders. Now this will work for Glock and some other mags. You just have to make some adjustments here um, to make sure that works. These are set for my 2011 mags because I don't really run anything else. He did start making a newer one. Uh, this one's got the adjustable retention here in the side with that piece. I honestly don't know what it's called, um, but this is the newer 2011 mag that he did for me uh, to match the the carbon, uh, the black carbon that I had from Hammer Armament. I mean, honestly, they do a really great job, uh, both of these makers. And also, if you've ever had an issue with any of them, they stop at pretty much nothing to make sure they make it right or help you figure out what any issue is. I only had one small issue with this one. It was a little bit tight on the XC and uh, Brent actually sent over a shipping label uh, to send it back to him. He corrected it and sent it right back out to me and it was super fast. So there was almost like no downtime with that. Uh, so that's what I use, like I said, on my, <clears throat> on my, uh, my big gun belt, um, hammer armament, Sierra Provisions. These two guys make some quality stuff. Now I do know Hammer Armament makes uh, some mag pouches as well. Um, I don't know if he was making them when I ordered this, but uh, Sierra Provisions is also local to me, so he, he made them. And honestly, uh, both these guys do great work. So set these aside. Now the next one's kind of a funny one. Some people might make fun of it, but honestly I found that it's worked really good thus far. Um, I think this is a, yep, Blackhawk, and it's called the Omnivore. It, uh, it, it basically does the retention off of the lights. You can do a TLR1 or TLR2. I run TLR1, so it works well for me. I'll show you guys with the XC. So, and it has the button release up here. This is adjustable. You can do like a super low one or taller. I chose the taller one just because, I mean, this has actually been a... A decent holster when I couldn't find other holsters uh, at the time so I still do have it set up there's uh, some adjustment up here you can put this piece in I guess to narrow the channel a little bit um, and then there's a piece down here that you set into it uh, depending on the light that you're running but like I said uh, I think they're running 50 bucks normally and they're sometimes on sale for like 39 or 40 dollars this is a great budget holster honestly um, like I said, some people might not like the idea of it, but it uh, it does a good job. I mean, it does exactly what I would need it to do in a pinch. Uh, so there's that holster as well. And kind of getting into some carry holsters. Actually, let me back up. So I have this one from QVO Tactical. This is not one that I wear. This is one that actually goes in my Vertex bags. So it has this piece here that's all Velcro. Uh, it screws right through into the holster. You can place it in there so when you open the bag and flip it open, you can grab your, your pistol right there. So just the, they have a real positive retention on this. 
but it's a uh, it's a nice it's got a real nice fit to it. Um, it has a little jiggle forward and back. I'm sure I could kind of clean that up a little bit with a a little bit of retention adjustment, but it works perfect in those vertex bags. So I'm a big fan. All right, moving along. I've got one more from Sierra Provisions. This one is actually for my shield. Um, I do love my Performance Center shield. This is a great pistol. It uh, <clears throat> comes factory ported, has a great trigger on it. I did some of the hive parts, but you can listen to the, to the click on this. It's like, it's music. It's a great click. And it's like the perfect amount of retention. So, once again, Sear Provisions does a great job on these holsters. He doesn't really do any 2011 holsters for the guns that I know of. Uh, I know he was looking at it. Don't know if he's going to be getting into it. But as far as Glock, Springfield, um, or sorry, uh, the Shields, the Smith & Wessons, um, he does make a really great holster. I think he offers some other things uh, like the Hellcats and stuff like that. He does a lot of a really nice carry gun options. Uh, did love the the high sweat guard on it. Um, it's just a really comfortable comfortable holster. Um, for me, this is just about the only one that I'll appendix. Uh, the other ones I, I tend to carry four o'clock. We'll get into those two. The last two that I have for right now are the LAS concealments. So this one has the double uh, the double hooks. This one I went with the loops, so I can do like different cants and stuff. So these are really really user friendly. I mean, you can set them up a bunch of different ways. I believe the way they come factory is they have a mod wing. I don't like the mod wing. I don't use it for my carry. So I take those off. I think they have like a little screw kit that you can swap out. Uh, but these, these fit really well. This is pretty much what my C2 is always in and my C is always in this one. So let's see. Let's see. And C2. So that's them. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, the I have nothing bad to say at all about any of these holster makers. They've all done a really good job. All the holsters, you know, serve their own purposes and have run well for me. Uh, once again, that's going to be hammer armament for those uh, those larger like gun belt rigs that I use. I know he makes a concealed holster. I haven't tried that one for the 2011. Then I have the QVO for my Vertex bags. There's the Blackhawk for kind of the cheap option if you're running a TLR1 or a TLR2. I think they might offer it for some other light options. Sierra Provisions for the shield and some of those Glock and, and uh, regular striker fire pistols. He makes a great concealed holster. And then I'm running LES Concealment for my C2 and my C for um, my, my EDC setups. Now, I have run a Tenacore. The Tenacore, the only problem I had with it is it has a built-in wedge in the back of it. Um, and for my body type, I didn't like it. So I ended up, so for some reason, the video cut out on the last one. Um, I was talking about the Tenacore. I do like the Tenacore. It just didn't fit me very well. It's very well made. Um, so not dig at them at all. It's just my body type. It didn't work for me. So I did give that one to my brother. Uh, I do also have a tack rig holster. It's a very cool modular design where basically there's a, a backer that goes along your body and it has the hooks in place. Now you can swap the modular portion like the where the holster itself, it connects to that piece or you can take it off and snap in basically belt loops. It's a very cool design, especially for somebody that's looking for maybe a dual purpose holster. So I can always do a separate review on that one later. I just don't have it with me at this time. But if you guys have any questions, comments or anything just uh, leave one below or reach out to me on instagram it's just nine millimeter slinger once again i appreciate you guys uh, watching my videos if you need anything let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos or something you guys want me to cover i can absolutely do it just drop it in the comment section appreciate it